What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. On this video, I wanted to talk about some things that you can do to, to increase your chances of matching despite a low step one score. If you guys already haven't, please subscribe to my channel every few days actually. I used to be every week and I'm starting to put them out a little bit more. Every few days I post a new video for pre-meds, for medical students, for residents, and even tips for fellowship as I'm going through the process. So please, you don't want to miss these videos. I'm putting out um, information that I didn't really have when I was going through the year. So I wanted to bless you guys with this information. And uh, please sub share my videos, subscribe, whatever you can to kind of support this channel so I can make it grow to help others. But this video, I wanted to talk about things that you can do if you don't do as well on step one. Step one, for those of you who don't know, is an eight hour test taken after your year, second year of medical school. And it is the single most important aspect of your application when applying to residency. So if you're trying to get into plastic surgery, dermatology, ENT, orthopedic surgery, neurosurgery, you have to do well in your step one. But I have three tips for you guys and ways that you can increase your chances of matching despite a low step one score. I'm going to start off with number three. Number three is that you need to have other parts of your application that can compensate for that low step one score. Research, if you have publications that is that will really help you out the letters of recommendation a lot of things in medical in the medicine medical field are about who you know so if you if you know someone or they have written a letter for you a really strong letter that speaks really highly of your character and your work ethic that can that can help you out um, if someone can make a phone call for you if you know a surgeon you shadow them for a number of months that you did research with them, they can maybe make a phone call for you to a program director and say, hey, please take another look at this application. This this student, they had they have a substandard step one score, but that score does not dictate or kind of characterize who, who that person is. So research, letters of recommendation, also your personal statements. You really need to uh, have a very strong personal statement um, into your application so that you can show the programs that you're really interested in that particular field. Number two is to take step two early and do well on it. If you have a 210 on your step one, um, you need to take step two early if you want to get into a competitive specialty and increase that score. So if you go from 210 to 245, that looks really good. Um, it's unfortunate that the step one is one particular day and that day basically dictates your career. So you have another chance. Step two, you need to crush it. You need to get some tutoring. You need to do lots of questions. You need to review your anatomy, your physiology, your pathology. You need to know that material well. And a good step two score or an increase from your step one uh, can help you out. And number one, the top way that you can get into a residency program with a low step one score, even the competitive ones, you guys ready? Is to rotate there. Rotate at the particular program that you're interested in. In orthopedics, they recommend that you do at least two away rotations. So if you wanted to go to University of Tennessee, you need to rotate there and just work your butt off. You need to meet everyone. You need to um, you need to uh, do research there if you can. You need to introduce yourself to the program director, to the chairman, to all the residents, to the nursing staff, and just show them that you really want it. Because a program, including my program, is willing to take a student with a lower step one score if they are a hard worker and they get along with, with the rest of the residents and their other parts of the application kind of make up for it. So, like I said, in, including my program, if you want to get into a competitive specialty, ENT, dermatology, plastic surgery, orthopedic surgery, neurosurgery, or go to a competitive program with a low step one score, number one is to rotate there and work your butt off. Most people match at places that they rotate at. 
Number two is to take a your step two early and do well on it, show it increase. Number three is to have parts of your application that kind of take up for that or compensate for that low step one score. This is Dr. Webb. If you guys have any more questions, email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or contact me on my website, antoniowebmd.com. We'll see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe.